and welcome back to Sunday Spotlight. This week we are focusing in on the HY High Comfort Waffle Girth, elastic both sides. If you're looking for a new girth, you've only got a small budget, then sit back, make yourselves a cup of tea and hopefully enjoy. fitter I get asked all the time what girths do I recommend and it really 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 depends on the horse what they need a girth for etc etc because you can get so many different shaped girths nowadays you can get curvy ones anatomical ones straight ones etc elasticated non-elasticated the list is endless if you are looking for a fairly straight e.g. no curve to it girth then hopefully this quick video today will be interesting for you because we're looking at the HY Comfort Girth. Now this is the waffle version and what that means is it's this kind of waffly material that we're all fairly familiar with in the horsey industry. These girths are probably the girths I recommend the most. So my absolute favourite girths in the world are the Ideal F2 girths but they're like £150 for the long girths. So in terms of the cheaper girths, these are by far the ones I recommend the most. They retail, their recommended retail price is £25. I don't know what that is in dollars for all you dollar people, but it's 25 UK pounds, GB pounds, which is just phenomenally cheap. And for that kind of price, you kind of think there must be something wrong with it because it's too cheap. But actually, I can't find a fault with them. I think they're brilliant. So I'll have a really quick look at them and see if you agree. So let's take the little label off and have a look at what it says. So it says HY Comfort Waffle Girth Elastic Both Ends, super strong yet soft material to allow airflow, shaped for extra comfort, prevents chafing or rubbing, strong with stainless steel buckle, roller buckles, easy to quite clean. You see that? Yeah, probably not because it's clear. But you know what, I'm, you, I've read it out, you don't need to read it. They come in sizes from 36 inches to 60 inches, I think it is. So a huge range of sizes that goes from really small ponies to absolutely massive rhinoceros size. They come in black and they come in brown. Now what makes them brilliant? Well, number one, the price, 25 pounds. And if you look on the tint web, you go on Google and have a Google for them, HY Comfort Waffle Girth, and you'll be like, OMG, they come up even cheaper. I've seen someone there for like 20 pounds. Bargain. What makes them brilliant? A few things. Number one, they're shaped nicely. So can we see? They're not straight straight, they've got some shape to them, yeah? They've got this webbing that runs across them. It goes into a little cross. Can we see that cross, how it crosses over? That adds some extra strength to it. And it gives that nice shape that it's got. There, yeah, can we see that? So the elbows of the horse will sit where my hands are sitting currently. So you get a little bit of a shape for the elbows. So a nice shape, so they're straight, so they're not curved, so they won't help your horse if your horse needs a curved girth, but if your horse can get away with the straight girth, then woohoo. Well, they come in no elastic, one-sided elastic, two-sided elastic. Um, personally, just completely delete from your brain the one-sided elastic. No one wants that, no one needs that, don't buy that. But the no elastic or the double elastic are the ones I like the best, and if I'm honest, I prefer the ones with elastic. Elastic can have a bit of a bad press with some people because they think of the old fashioned elastic girths that overstretch, that over tighten, cause problems, break, etc. etc. But the elastic on these girths is surprisingly awesome considering they're so cheap. If we look at them, it's double layered, it's super strong, they've even got a nice bit of webbing at the top here for the buckle to attach to. The buckle is a nice smooth roller. It's got a good shaped pin and it's got elastic on both sides. What more could you want? What else is good about them? Well, they're quite wide. So my hands are tiny and I struggle, so I'm struggling to kind of reach around it almost, but they're nice and wide. They've got a nice wide surface area and that's the part of your girth that you want to be nice and wide. And this bit in the middle here, that goes with the horse's sternum. You want that to be nice and wide because that's the bit that goes on your horse's chest 
and kind of takes off all of her pressure. So they're lovely and wide there. Compared to some of the other cheaper girths, these are really nice and wide. And they're also made out of this waffle material. And you might be fooled into thinking, well, I've already got one of those waffly girths in it, so therefore it's exactly the same. But actually, these are made out of quite a soft waffly material. So they're soft enough to kind of be soft, but at the same time, they don't kind of crumple underneath you, so they don't end up crumpling up and becoming, you know, some girths look really wide and then they crumple up and they end up being actually like an inch wide because they kind of crumple up. But these don't crumple, they've got a really good sort of structure to them, despite being soft, they're non-crumply. It's not an official term. Girths don't use that in their sales pitter patter, but I'm using it today. They're non-crumply. Another good thing about them, so I've got the elasticated one here, which is the one that I recommend the most, but they do also do in a non-elasticated version. And the non-elasticated version is the same as this in that it's got a split at the top, which is really good. We see so many girths that are sewn here, and so they come up like that and they can't split, but you want your girth to have a split like this because you might need to use some extra straps. So what happens if you need to use your point strap on your saddle or your balance strap or something like that, and your girth is like this, and your girth is like this, then you can't get to those straps properly without sort of bending the girth out of shape and you don't get the benefit of those straps unless the girth itself can open a bit at the top. So these girths do do that, which is another tick in their box. They're also nicely padded underneath this elastic area they've got a nice thoughtful bit of padding there as well so they do do one called an hy web girth which are a bit cheaper not the right ones they're made like of like a cottony like a webbing material they haven't got that kind of give to them and the softness to them and the support that these ones have and they are in that case a bit more crumply um, and then they also do one called the hy comfort cushion girth so that's not the one you want and that's kind of a slightly thinner material again not quite so squishy a little bit cheaper but just not this one so you want the hy comfort waffle girth not the HY Comfort webbing girth and not the HY Comfort cushion girth. Get it? HY? Hi? Do you think it's HY or Hi? Hi, a question. HY, a question. I don't even know how to pronounce it. I always say HY, but then someone the other day was saying Hi. So the HY Comfort. HY Comfort girth. Nice and soft, nice and broad. Good elastic, both ends, decent by the one-sided one. Good elastic, both ends, good buckles, well thought of, non-crumply, good material. Horses tend to quite like them. If you don't have any special requests from your girth, you don't need something curved or super shaped or anything like that, then these are definitely worth considering. And at £25, they really are a bargain. So if you're looking for a cheap girth, you're looking for a straight girth, you really can't go far wrong with one of these. I hope that was in some way useful and um, please don't forget I've got a whole YouTube channel every Sunday we do a Sunday spotlight like this where we look at products or saddles or items that you might use with your saddle and things like that so if you're interested in that sort of thing where you can look more closely at items then don't forget to like and subscribe and all of that malarkey I also do a live video on the last Friday evening of every month so you can tune into that and ask as many questions as you like on the subject of questions if you have any coming up from today then pop a pop it below and I'll be sure to answer it. 